Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing this wedding guest attendee look. Um, wedding season is upon us and I feel like the weddings are, they're like a double whammy right now. Like people skipped a year because of COVID and they're all having them this year. Plus the people that were going to have their year, weddings this year already are having them this year. So there's a lot of weddings right now. So I wanted to put together a simple look that I think will be perfect for attending somebody's wedding. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So first I'm going in with the Kiehl's Creme Decor Moisturizer. This is an OG favorite of mine and super, super hydrating. Great for going underneath makeup. I am going to use primer in this. I'm going for the YSL Touche de Clé. I think that's how you say it. Um, and this is a nice primer as well. I don't wear primer a lot, but I said, you know what? Let me give it a whirl today. For foundation, I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Vision, Vision Cream in the shade N6. This does look very warm for my skin tone right now, but my tan is developing. And one thing with makeup that's going to be photographed is it's better to go on the warmer side because flash photography is like tends to wash people out. So I like to keep the perimeter of my face um, definitely darker rather than lighter and and use lighter shades under my eyes and in my T-zone to brighten up the areas I want to highlight. For my concealer today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade, I believe this is Warm Honey? Medium Honey. So this is going under my eyes and kind of lifting them up under my jawline for a reverse contour and a little bit down the bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. Don't forget the eyelids as well. For contour, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. I use this a lot. I just think it's a really good shade for my skin tone and honestly a lot of skin tones. Um, and I'm just working this into the hollows of my cheek, my forehead, my jawline to snatch that jaw, my nose, um, taking a smaller brush for the sides of my nose and working that nose contour into my brow bone. This stub is really a game changer in tying in the look and making it look more natural. And make sure to blend this out. I'm just using my foundation brush to blend out any of those harsh lines. Blend, 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 blend. You don't want anything looking too harsh. I decided I needed to brighten things up a bit more, so I went in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Light Peach, and I'm just putting these strategic marks on and blending it out with a beauty blender. Now you can see that even though we went dark with the foundation, adding all these lighter colors helps neutralize it and um, just build dimension in a really natural way. We're sort of reverse engineering this contour, if you will, by starting with the darker foundation and building the dimension back in with lighter and lighter highlights. I'm just blending this out with my Beauty Blender. And then I take a bit more contour under my eyes and on my lips. This is gonna make my lips look bigger. And filling in that bit under the eyes just makes your eyes look a little bit more normal. For this powder, this is the Givenchy Prism Libre and I'm concentrating it in my T-zone, but I am using the excess powder all over. For my eyes, I'm using the Laura Mercier Pencil in Rose Gold and I'm just running this all over my eyelid and rubbing it in with my finger. This is just a nice shimmery cream eyeshadow that I'm going to top with the Laura Mercier Highlight in the shade Indiscretion. So I'm really just putting a nice shimmer on my eyes. It's subtle, it's easy, and it looks great. For the crease, I'm using contour. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the shade Rich Amber. Working this into my crease and the outer V of my eyelid, and I'm gonna swipe some of this under my eyelid as well. To add more dimension, I'm going in with the Morphe pencil in the shade Secret. Working this under my eye and using a tiny detailed brush, I'm gonna swipe this into like a reverse wing situation. I'm gonna continue to blend this out and then I'm even gonna take some of that contour powder again and smoke it out even more. 
Lastly, for the eyes, I'm taking my one size on point black liquid liner. I really love this one because the applicator is so tiny. It helps me get a super fine detailed wing, which is what I want. For the lips, I'm going in with Sugar Pie. This is a liner by Morphe, and I'm just going to put some Maybelline lip filler gloss on top, dust off my bake, and go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Rose. I'm being generous with blush because it's the first thing to fade away, and I just love the look of blush. And that's the final look. Subtle, shimmery, and perfect for a wedding.